the Daryl Davis, this was probably my favorite bridle forever. A um, couple different types of mouthpieces in it. This one kind of has a spoon, but it's, in, it's not a floating spoon. You see this a lot in a, in a regular uh, correction bit or in a floating spoon that they'll call it, that they'll have kind of that more in a floating. This is in a correction mouthpiece. Again, similar to the, the 65 shanks of Carries, kind of a nice little soft short shank. Um, these two bridles are something that you can ride on a really good heel horse if they're a little bit uh, softer mouthed. Uh, but also, like I said, we, I hit a lot. We ride a lot of young horses here, a lot of horses um, that have come from a cutting program in a cutting background. And so for a lot of those horses, they've got a lot of stop and draw. And by that, it's, it's stop, step or two back, and then come through themselves. When we're talking about with the healing, we don't want nearly as much stop and draw. I want a little forward momentum, and I want to be able to, to control them left or right, whichever way I want to. Typically in the healing, we'll want to help that nose around a little bit to the left. And so for these kind of bridles, I can kind of just use my pinky and, and, and kind of roll them around. That's not too short, but when I start with my, my hands on here, as I bring this around, it kind of rolls around and it kind of brings their nose to the inside. Uh, 